<laughs> what's up guys what's going on uh thursday uh, you already know what it is get ahead and introduce yeah. you me i do it yeah you go first hey guys it's me tone camp out it's KG. me kb yeah you're done <laughs> yeah, you. we here every thursday on the thursday 8 p.m tone of my voice camp out to my right kb k black with a one over yeah. to the far right 23 at the end <laughs> why is there a 23 in the end because you don't wear jays Oh, we're starting this already? Start. Well, we gotta wait for started. the after. Can we wait for the after? Oh, I was wearing shit? days when you were like in diapers. Let's please. Let's not even. Well, nice to show your age. Or, or, or show your age. Uh, I'm, I'm young. I'm a young buck. Exactly. Yeah, he's no. so young. Anyway, uh, let's get right into this breakdown so we can continue the rhetoric. Uh, starting off Friday, we got Nike Air Max One Anniversary Obsidian Black White. Kind of what do you see? Black is Obsidian. What is That's obsidian? navy blue. It doesn't look like black in the picture. That. Oh, but at the colorway says Obsidian. It's navy blue. There's a USA colorway. What's wrong with you? It's new contacts. I got new contacts, guys. Yeah, he said his eyes like got better. These shits fire. <laughs> They're classics. No, seriously. They're OGs. They fire. I like them. I like them. That's a thumbs up. That's it. That's it. Thumbs right. up for the uh, next, next up, you got Nike PG1 Volt. Volt Reach over one ton. Should have tried. Well, can we get one at a time here? Go ahead. Well, Ladies first. Oh, whoa, whoa. Go ahead. Excuse me. Volt is, is dope, but shit is it. whack. That's what we waited for. This shit is atrocious, dog. Fuck this PG one, man. Moving on. It looks like a tennis ball. Yeah, that's I probably like what they're looking for. Volt I've had like five pairs of shoes at all of them. You had your turn. Now you're gonna keep going. Whatever. See, See? This, is, this is why we got a problem here. Why we can't have nice things. Um, I don't know. If volt is good when it's in a small amount. It does the look over, like a tennis ball. The it's overabundant weird. amount of volt is uh, kind of frustrating. You don't have any volt shoes? I do, but I, not like this. He doesn't love volt. I know. I I. I like Volt a lot in of whatever. Next shoe. Uh, Nike Platin Bow Dunk. A what? Can I get a better picture? I mean, that's coming up. There you, there you go. go. There you go. D85. I don't know what's that for. What is that? It's not uh, an SB. It's like a mini little low dunk. Oh, well, it is a dunk. But it's not SB because it got the, the, tongue the skinny, too tongue. skinny tongue. Yeah. No, no elastic. Up in a bitch. Yeah, that shit is white. I mean, it's gray though, so that's cool. It looks white. Just see how much a difference it's It's makes? platinum. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a difference the tongue makes. <laughs> Just saying. What difference the tongue makes. It does, though. <laughs> We're moving on. Comment below. Uh, <laughs> Soul Land and Nike SB Dunk Low. Uh, there are two of these. Uh, we'll start with the low, obviously. Black. I like the swoosh in the toe box. That shit's fire. What is that white thing? <laughs> it's like... That might be 3M. Oh, the youth throat? It's just like a, it's like a piping on the youth throat. It's not bad, though. It's all right. Reminds you got, you got a skinny jam. tongue. I would never a fat the tongue. It's not a... Pass. It, it, it's thinned out the the entire liner so if you go like a half a size uh, up for SB's I would definitely be cautious with this because there's no liner on the inside. It's not puffy tongue either So you go half nice. size up for SB? Hell yeah. I don't I go true to size. Wow. I go maybe down half a size. They're always puffy on me I don't know maybe it's the tongue. Anyway, uh, it kind of reminds me of a space jam maybe a little bit feet. with the Nate I don't know, can we? I'm just saying. Anyway, <laughs> uh, next up Soul Land Nike SB Dunk High. Uh, I like these a lot. A lot of people like the highs, but I don't They're too really... high for me. What? I don't know. I don't like... I don't know. They're too high for you? I don't like them. Too high? Yeah. For you. Shut up. <laughs> You're, so cool. You're too cold for me, but I gotta sit next to you and talk to you, so... That's why I sit in the middle. I gotta break this saying. shit up. I like the colorway. The colorway is cool. Double swoosh action in the middle. Uh, that's what you guess for me. Like, everything else is trash. Nah, piss. What? Super fire. Deconstructed Super on the fire. top. Tongue has got that broken down. Looks deconstructed? Like, like, what are we trying to do here? Off white? Yeah, I'm, I'm just saying it's deconstructed from the original design. I'm not saying it's completely inverted but or anything can, like but that. But it kind of looks... It, it, it kind of does, but that's maybe why I think it's fire. Who is so like off white? Who is that? Like a shop fire. from off Asia or something? Fire. I mean, at this point, I'm going to have to do... It's Soul Land. Comments. There you go. That answers that question. Uh, Help I us. like the co the uh, the contrast on the little swoosh, the mini swoosh, and the uh, the I large like the, swoosh. The mini swoosh. I like that. Cool. That looks Colorway's dope. Fire. The material looks dope. The the midsole is white. But you think Nike's stepping up on the material aspect? I, I think they didn't. Honestly, There's I think a lot Nike of does. Pebble leather and stuff going on. We'll revisit that at the end. Note to self: Nike doing bad. Okay. I, I forgot already. Next shoe. Uh, Nike ASF One Deep Burgundy and like a red colorway. That's a fire. I like it. Gum bottom. I like the colorway. Don't like the shoe too much. Also in a cinder colorway, uh, black. Cinder. Yes. Who the that fuck looks is red you? to me. Saint Nick. That looks kind of like. No, I they, they, I they call it, it cinder. Oh, okay, all right. I, I saw know. it on the IG, but whatever. This shit's fire. I think it's dope. But the black bottom, like I don't know, they could have did like a different color. Excuse you. Like gum bottom. Not into it. Well, you don't like black bottoms. 
Oh. What's the price point on those? One sixty. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have Nike uh, PG One GS in a old school looks like colorway. Those are kind of better than not the, for PG, but just shoe. Nike. Yeah. Which does what? It's just dry. Better than that. I the silhouette is garbage. No matter what colors you put on it, it's just still going to be dirty. Maybe people play bowl in it or something. Oh, absolutely. Well, it is a basketball suit. I mean, price it's point, I mean, and you're playing bowl in it. It's, it's GS, though, so like, that's like... There's kids out there that play basketball. Well, basketball no, basketball I'm, I'm just saying for that price point, 90 bucks, like, whatever. Yeah, you can't go wrong with it, but... 60 bucks for kids' basketball. That ain't something to get jiggy with, you know? Jiggy. Yeah. Yo, get I can make anything fly, just saying. No? Alright. Getting jiggy. Alright. Next up, you got Adidas. Dancers over here. <laughs> Prosper. Uh, Do you think that's good enough? I don't know. It's kind of clean, multicolor. Well, what was it? Pro Profier? Proffer? Nice. Proffer? Profier? Profier? Profier. Profier. I like those. Might be Profier. Profier. Prosper. For Very inappropriate like shoe. Pro. This shit is a scuff Yeah. No, nah, it's not that. It reminds me of a footscape with the whole missile. I can't say that. Try saying it three times in a row fast. Profier, Profier, Profier. Profier. <laughs> Profier. Profier. The three uh, stripes is fucking. Garbage, like that shit is disgusting. It's ugly. I can't be mad if we're trying to do see something my different. Shoe. What I mean, you see my mom is it boost? There, there may be some boost tucked in there somewhere. I think like they, they, they've kind of sold themselves on the boost river, and they kind of have to push the shit. <laughs> the boost river. And say like, there's boost in there somewhere. Like I, I don't know, man. Like I, it sucks that when people don't see boost on an Adidas, they're like, ah, it's trash. They they buy the boost because of the comfort. So I like I agree with the consumers. Like if there's yep. no boost on it, they're not gonna invest the money. Thought, so this is but people bought. Uh, no, it's a breakdown. Saying, I know like, you're fucking curious. Oh, now, now you're not. Now you're not. He got all mad last week because nah. I wasn't staying. But I thought this order. week we're gonna go into detail for each shoe. Like yeah, that's well, what I'm trying to give you detail. Like, oh, okay. yeah, but now you're in a rush. Fuck the detail. Now KB's in a rush. What is this? Knockhell Smith and Adidas Match Court High RX. Colorway is fire. That purple's. I love it. Wow. Is it suede? Velour? What is it? I can't see with this. I really like thumbnail. that, actually. I, honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. Point? I'm pretty sure it's like velvet. Ooh. What's the price? They'll be fucked up in two seconds. That's just trash. What? If it's velour or velvet, it's just trash. What's the price point? It, it looks like a velvet velour is what it looks like. I mean, for 80 bucks, like, I'd give it a go. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's $80 for men's size. I mean, what the fuck? You sure it's not a typo? It's not 180 Really? $80 I for guess. that? Oh, well, well, yo. I'll that's crazy. Sneaker news. Is it 80 bucks? I don't know. Tell us, let us know. Uh, next up, we got Adidas Dame 4 in two different colorways. You got City, well, Rose City. All right, all right, let me set this up for you guys so you can see it. There you go. We're blowing the shit over here. And then you got the uh, the black colorway, which is called Static. Oh, wow. Another Static shoe. This shit is garbage, though. Straight trash. We're, Fuck we're, it. We're done with him for now. Are you, are you you're good on that? Yeah, I'm good on that. <sighs> White noise. I'm not, I'm, everybody I'm goes Static now. Here, that's why we got an iPad, so you can bring it closer. There you go. Chillin. I don't like that shoe. I just don't like the, like the sock. I kind of like the shoe. silhouette just a little bit. The Dame Four? Yeah, it's not bad. For real? After in the, the black, times in the black, black though. In the black show. Because you can't see the silhouette. The white one you can see it. I'm like, nah. Mm -hmm. But Look. in the black, like it's like all one piece. <sighs> not that bad. I like the three stripes in the in the rear. It's not that bad in the black. What's that? I like the three stripes in the rear. It's you like three nice. stripes in your rear? <laughs> nah. Comment below. <laughs> well played. Uh, next up, you got Raised by Wolves Reebok Classic Leather in Fire. three different colors. You got a gray. Is that gray or blue? Gray is lit. Gray, blue, whatever you want to go with. That's on still that. blue. I'm going to just hand you guys the iPad. White, no, then black, see. and they're then they're actually all really nice. When do they, do they drop this weekend? I need to get those. Man. How are they nice? Explain to me because I, I think I'm missing the train on this can we, one. Can we, can we just rewind one second? I like this. When do they drop? When? I don't know. No, I like the latest. Chris, scroll up so you see when they drop. They drop. 12 15. Tomorrow. Okay. I really like these. I want this color or. But they're not gonna come. They're not gonna come. Black is fire, but the IC is gonna the, turn the, yellow. Yeah, who gives a fuck? That shit is fire. It's gonna turn pissy. I like these. Price point one fifty. I mean, we just. I mean, honestly, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I really. <laughs> this like shit is trash, dog. It's a great colorway. Like That's it. blue. Whatever the fuck it is, whatever this this How is blue that gray trash? slate what makes brown, that trash? whatever. What makes it pop in? It's one fucking color. It's, plain. it's not all about the soul. shoe sometimes. It has nothing to do with Reebok Classic doing a collaboration either. It has to do with the way the colorway pops to me. Exactly. I don't, even, I don't even wear Reeboks like that. It's like gray, years. white, and black. How is that amazing for a collaboration? It looks fucking good. It's clean. It's clean looking. Oh, oh you're saying it's collaboration? It's just regular J, like GRs right here. Like nah, you can find them sitting in a mall right now. Reebok's GR level is a lot lower than. Well, we don't know what the level quality of this is because we don't have them in hand. Pretty, well, we're going based off of photos, so it could be made out of plastic. Pretty annoying, you two. 
All I'm saying is, even though it's a collaboration, it doesn't make a difference. The colorways are very black. clean. Classic Reebok leather. Why am I is annoying? I like it. I I'm saying the back and forth. I understand. They I'm just gonna sip this Coca Cola. Be, no, that's my Coca Cola. That's my Coke. <laughs> I don't drink it anymore. <laughs> oh, Yo, we're moving on. Fuck these Reeboks. Reeboks are fire, by the way. If you guys cop, comment below. Next up, we'll move along to Saturday. You got Foot Patrol, Puma, Sugi, I don't even know, whatever. Uh, worldwide Drop. It's a brown color. Oh, green. Green, sorry. Green color. Oh, not green. I'm gonna fucking hit you. <laughs> Pass. Pass on those? I'm Super so pass. You just drank my Coca Cola, but whatever. I was thirsty. I was a little parched. I wish I had some tea. I'm gonna go get up and get another one. Actually, there's no. So, this shit is whack, so we're moving on Thanks. to 1216 uh, Nike Zoom Vapor Street. No, you're not gonna talk, comment on that. Super. I said it was too whack. Oh, I said you didn't it was like it? Pass. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was nice. All right. You didn't like it either. It was Jason right. Kidd pass like that. No look pass. Uh -huh. Roger that. Next up uh, Nike Zoom Vapor Street Fly Knit. Uh, there's no price on it, so you could give them like a dollar and they'll give it to you. <laughs> Uh, this shit is horrendous. That big ass swoosh going into the mid so I don't like it. Uh, it's not for me. Triple black, straight trash. Up yeah. next, what Tone actually does like. It's anyway, coming up. It's coming. Uh, Nike carry four. This is not just saying trash and trash. confetti. Uh, I like these. You like them? I like them. It's like a what the Kyrie yeah, it's early in this shit. It's better than the what the Kyrie. I like those you know, too. It's better than the what the Kyrie. I, I, I don't like, like the the vote side. Like that's crazy. No. Nah. What? I'm good. What? Easy pass. You're gonna buy them? I probably won't, but I so still think So you probably don't good. like them that much. Well, listen, I like that's them. because I don't buy Kyrie's, bro. Like, There's more me the Barclays right here with the little teeth on the little side. Yeah. yeah, I see what you're doing there. That's cool. Uh, next up, you got Nike Air Max 1 Premium in a mm. uh, triple black with a mini silver swoosh mm. on the medial and lateral side. It's a three pack, no? Yeah, there's, there's more of them, but I only have one up. Okay. Premium. Uh, this shit is white. Trash. It's just trash. Damn, can, you said it's trash? Found it. She's not gonna do it. She's Explosion. Oh, there you go. Was that more of a guy out of here? Yeah, it was I think that's what it was. Like she rushed me over and shoot your cool. First of all, this shit is fire. I, I don't give a fuck what either one of them say. This, this shit, shit is fire. black. It's true black, dog. Come on, man. How many black shoes can it? Uh, you, 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 you have you have to understand something. A lot of people like a lot of shoes and can't get a lot of shoes. So sometimes you have to settle on some shit that's fire. You can wear with a lot of stuff and looks good. Whatever. Fucking gives you. Shit. But, I, but I'm saying personally to you. How many black dope, shoes though. can you have? I mean, how many can I fit in my closet? Each one has a different appeal to me. Oh, it's not answer. like they all look the same. Fuck I that. think it's all the same. Like uh, next up, Adidas Yeezy 350 Boost V2 Blue Tint. I like them. Possibly the best one to drop all year. For real? Yeah. I like Frozen Yellows the best, but whatever. I'll take those next. I like the red stripes and the zebras. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 I forgot about zebras. All right, zebra's so fine. it's in my top three for this year. Definitely this blue tin shit is fine. This is going to be the last V2 dropping. They might not be any Ever. more V2s. Ever. Really? Dropping next year. Okay. They're going to come with that new silhouette. It's like a mid. I don't yeah. like it. From the photos I've seen, I don't like it either. It looks atrocious. Well, it's good. It'll save me some money. I'll wait till I see it before I make any decisions, by the way. <laughs> next up, Adidas. He's, is this really dropping this weekend? This shit is so trash, the power is, face. Is, is it dropping? I was surprised both of you guys like that shit. I guess it's dropping. If it's on sneaker news, it must be true. The gray true. one was fire. The gray one was straight trash. They're still sitting well, at Adidas at Fifth Avenue. Oh, people what? were looking for it. Oh, they're still sitting at Fifth Avenue. Yeah, Fifth Avenue got a, a restock. They got a new shipment of them. So I'm All I'm saying is, the same reason I said the, um, the Air Max 1 was fire for the same reason I say these are fire. If you can get a hyped item that maybe you were trying to get a Yeezy, you can't get a Yeezy, just an association, and you're like, fuck it, like it's simple, simplistic, and you can wear with mad shit. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Who cares? Chilling. It's, it's not a bad shoe. I don't like the, As the construction shoe. of it because the toe box is so it's soft like and supple. Bubble. Yeah, it, it, like, it crinkles like super easy. It just looks like an old man shoe. Well, I've seen some on feet photos. Wide, I guess people like downsize and it looks wide, have the better wider, shape on it. Super, super tight. And they still got that little and they still got that little dome. The little, the little, the little, and I don't like it. I think the silhouette's fucking trash. I don't care if Yeezy did it. I don't care if Frank the Butcher did it. I don't care who did it. This shit is straight trash. I mean, theoretically, Reebok. I don't right? care if Ronnie designed this shit. This shit is trash. Though. I'm, I'm like You don't even like Ronnie. This. I'm like, what's going on? You guys oh, you don't like Power Face? I don't know. It was just like a little extra, so I fell asleep. I don't know. Oh, no, she's not in a rush. I, I just might as well just cut her out from here on out. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just scooch this way and box it out. What's what next? The uh, Invisibles? Uh, Ama Manari, Invincible. I think this is the worldwide drop of these two. We spoke about it last week. Don't need to speak about it too much this week. Shit is trash. Triple white. Whatever. Adidas Harden LS Raw Steel. What is that? That's just disgusting. <laughs> it's not. It does not look. Good. It's a fucking maze. Yeah, no. I don't even want but to it's not those. amazing. But we're moving on. It's not uh, next up, undefeated and Adidas Profier. 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 For two hundred retail, it's undefeated. 
I bring oh, it closer so everybody can see it. Is that camo shit? Of course, yeah, it's, it's like camo. a tiger. It's kind of cool. Yeah, not bad. is not bad. I mean, it's a little yeah. high considering there's no boost. The materials are oh, no. Do we know for sure there's no boost? I mean, I don't see any present unless it's tucked well, inside. Yeah, it could be inside. And if it's tucked just... inside, that means they're giving you even less for more money. And it comes out on a very special day. Nice 1216. 12, 16. Oh, shout out to uh, KB. KB one Black ACK twenty three. Happy birthday. What day is it? Bro, I see it. It's, it's K Black or the one, not it's KB. K well, I'm, I'm yeah. spelling it out. K so. Black or the one, like to camp out with a zero. I'm going to talk about that association because they're like, wait, is there a one, two, three? It's K B one A C K two three. That, right? Oh, there's a two? It's K Black 23 and the L is a one. What is so difficult about saying that? That was like pretty that? difficult. That was, that was rough. Oh my God. You couldn't just put like K Black 23? No, someone already had it. Sons of bitches. So you're an imposter. Uh, no. Next up, you got. Well, well can not. we finish this, please? Are we done with this? Yeah, we're done with that trash. It's atrocious. Wow, that really wasn't me. It's yeah, camel, don't expect me to say. To my left I, there. Anyway, uh, Adidas Harden Volume 1 in two different colorways. It looks like a salmon and a navy, so Ronnie just got cut in half. Uh, go for it. Anybody? Takers on that? Shit is a lot. Wait, is that, is that one pair or is it two pairs? It's two pairs. Scroll up. No, 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 it's two pairs. It's two pairs. I just took the other pictures off. I don't know. Shit is a lot. Retail for 130, James Harden. You can do I better. Know. I mean, there's still what's okay. Is it flying? Oh, flying. I want to like basketball shoes. I do. I want to like them. You can play basketball. And so. I'm going to speak on it after we're done here. Uh, next up, Under Armour Curry 4 Black White. You gotta tell me you love this shit because all black with a white missile. I, I'll, I'll, I'm never going to get on board with an Under Armour shoe unless they make one that I can actually wear. Okay. This They're black. dropping these again? What? The Gatorade 6s. Are pre orders open? Yeah, sure. If you want them. <laughs> Nobody wants those. Uh, next yeah, up, you got Air one. Jordan 13 Altitude. What? Wait, no. you missed the I missed, I missed the I missed the 32 low. I'm sorry. Yeah, the Gatorade. Gatorade Curry. sixes, and then the, I was this like, isn't Carmine's not dropping again. It's white and orange with a Gatorade bottle as a lace lock. So Which that's is just fire. The, 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 the lace, lace lock, lock is, is probably the best part. Pretty dope, but white and orange, I can pass. I still got Carmine's. And then Air Jordan 13 Altitude, two pairs for you. On discount, right? Wait till they go on sale. I'm, I'm waiting because I bought the wheat ones for like yeah, full price. I'm very upset about that. Trust me, though, they're gonna go, uh, you know, discount out of the store. Are we done here? Out two thirteens. They're nice. They fire like. Okay, that is it for the uh, shoe portion of this. We're getting into the afterthoughts. No, no, you gotta let He's me do that. Afterthoughts. There you go. Oh. He can't fit his right, arms all the way around. I'm done, I'm done. Like, he has to go all the way around there just we go. to like, get a full. See, my arms are I don't understand why you can't just like lean <laughs> in and go, afterthoughts. Happy rainbows. Got yeah, happy clouds everywhere. Uh, first of all, I got to shout out uh, ETC Hosts. Uh, hit me up in the DM the other day. Et cetera or, 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 et cetera Hosts? Et cetera Hosts? Is that what it is? Uh, it's ETC Hosts. I'm, that could be et cetera. It, it, it could be, can et I just give the guy a shout out? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> who is this guy? Show your face. He's I want to cool. know who you He's are. So uh, he just popped in. He said something about the Kit LeBron thing, which is what I was going to speak about anyway. Uh, so shout outs. He's always in the comments and stuff like yeah. that. So appreciate you. Um, Kit well, yeah. LeBron, they've been dropping like a lot of teaser stuff, like a fucking letter Ronnie wrote. Uh, Ron. No comment. I'm gonna... You guys got no comments? The, this you, is what the afterthoughts is all about. Wait, wait. You, you gotta guys... speak your piece and talk your shit. Talk shit about I this. I talk my shit. Did all the shoes are where? Can we be looking so at So it's, it's no. You gotta understand because it's Kiff and LeBron now. Listen. I, I was just thirsty. I was no, no, no. Fuck that. Wait, my question this is, shit is, is whack, LeBron though. even gonna get like MJ? Like, if you got MJ. I don't think he wanted to go that route. He can't route. go to the I don't Jordan think he, first route. First of all, I don't That's think why he, he went the Pippen route. And now he's going the LeBron route. So, in theory, the shoe is a performance shoe. Thank you, That's ETC, about et cetera. Yeah. Um, so for me, like, I can't, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I can't do the performance slash lifestyle unless it leans more towards the lifestyle stuff. Yeah. When it's straight exactly. performance, like, I have no purpose and no need or even want to look at it. Mm. That's my standpoint on it. So therefore, when I see a sock with a strap that you can, I don't want any part of it. I okay. want nothing to do with Zippers. it. I, I want nothing. So you don't like the collaboration that LeBron and Ronnie did on those uh, LeBron, what the was it? The floral joints? They're up to 15, was it? Yeah, the, the floral, floral one? No. You don't like them? No. Because it's a basketball shoe. It's the crossover for lifestyle. If it's a basketball shoe that I can wear for more lifestyle, it's completely different. Like Which, how like how the Pippin was. Yes, like, yes, like yes. Like those are basketball shoes, but... But the aesthetic just felt different to me. Okay, it because it's it so... like a shoe from the 90s that you could relate yeah. to. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. now that's a LeBron 15, and there's nothing like 
We could relate to it because it's, it's not high our, performance. It's not our time. Okay. Because nope. I have to fly in it and shit, so that's kind of like lifestyle shit. But like, look at, okay, so like ETC, etc. cetera, again, uh, said the same thing. He, he was like, it's a performance shoe, and I said, so is a Jordan 1. And he's like, well, from 1986. And like, in theory, what the style was for 1986 to what yep. we wear now and like how it looks, maybe in like fucking 40 years, like that shit will be like, yo, that shit is mad retro, wear them shits. Like, who knows? I have no idea. But for me, like the way I like to wear my clothes and the way I like my it's fits cool. to look, it doesn't, it's not cohesive. Mm. Doesn't go with your fit. I agree, I agree. I like the floral one, but the other shits that I saw. Are you gonna buy it? Like, honestly, I probably honestly, like, really? I With the zipper like and the floral one? I wasn't gonna like it. Like, the zipper with the floral, I think I'm I'm gonna get that one. That shit's pretty fly. Like I like that. You want to review them? Yeah, if I get them, I'll let you know. Shake on it. That was. You see, tones fucking. Only if retail's like less than twenty, but if it's more than that, they can keep them shits. You know it's gonna be like two forty. They're gonna charge three hundred because it's a it's YKK be zipper and shit. It's, it's, it's gonna be like two forty, two fifty, maybe two seventy five. And get on that Kif discount. I'm about to hit up a friend on Kif or something. <laughs> anyway, uh. Let me just open this back up, get back into some more afterthoughts. But are they dropping apparel or is it just straight sneakers? I, honestly, I, I hope. I'm sure it's apparel too. I hope, I, I hope, I hope, I hope that it's, it's not a collection. But you already saw like the, the, the King Lion joint with yeah, the why do you, why do you hope it's not a collection? I don't understand. It's so every, much stuff. Every time Ronnie drops a shoe, there's an abundance amount of clothing for that collection. <sighs> a lookbook. Because then the problem is I'm going to like some of the clothes and then I'm going to have to buy a fucking shoe. You don't have to buy the shoe. Nobody's Word. making you buy the shoe. You, you can just fuck with the clothing and that's it. It won't look right. Is it? What? It won't look right. I have a weird thing when it comes to wearing clothes. I, I think I think you'll be able to pull it off though. Like if you just buy the apparel and wear it with different pairs of shoes, like why you don't gotta look like the Kiff mannequin or some shit. Trust me though. You, it's you like wearing Nike and Adidas. If there are apparels dropping, we'll, we'll take we'll stay tuned and like see what happens. But I hope not. Next. There's gonna be some flash shit. Uh, <coughs> Do you think someone who has been collecting or in the game who works in the industry has the right to, to more say or first dibs on items over say someone new to the game resellers excluded? Why excluding the resellers? Because they don't want to for self. So people who or who have been doing it longer, I feel like, like um, I've been shopping at the store per yep. se since it opened, and I'm not getting the pairs that I want. Over little kids. Who no, I'm are saying like they're a loyal yeah. customer from the beginning. Exactly. Yeah, they opened yeah. Up yeah. the brick and mortar, and saying like, "Oh, like you guys can't hold me down. Like I've been shopping here since the beginning. Like I've been here since 2000 or whatever. Like you get letting all these guys get it and perform me. Like exactly. you're talking about like that kind of aspect. Okay. Or I know more about it than you. Oh well, yeah, like everything. Or, uh, just gotcha. I, I've got more than you, so I know. Like I've been collecting Air Max One since they yeah. fucking dropped. Back in the day, like so I their opinion matters more than per se someone who's. And what is what is your answer to that? Yeah, what's your outtake on that? I mean, I see it from both ends. Being somebody who's been collecting really, really long time, like, okay. and seeing like the new generation now, it's all hype. But like, I, I hope that it'll fully evolve back to what it was one day. I may not be here to see it, but what? What do you mean, like evolve like, back? Like, like to just do getting what you want and getting your style. And not just getting items because it's hype or it's cool to wear it. I, you don't think that it's changed because of the amount of people who come into liking said items? And I exclude, and I say like excluding resellers, I feel like is more along the lines of because they're buying it for a flip purpose that has no context to someone who's been collecting or structured in it. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying. But uh, there's some there's resellers out that there that buy like, buy the flip like, to do that as it's well. It's your life, like you live I'm it all the time. I'm saying purpose to resell. Yeah. You know? Like you live like a collector life. Well, I'm not saying I'm a collector. I wear my shoes. Collector to me is not someone who wears their shoes. I don't think I'm a well. collector. Like I wear my shoes and I do it because I like it, not because like oh. It's but there's some resellers out there that they buy their size first and then whatever that, extra they cool. get that's they flip different, to course. bring their costs down i'm saying that's strictly different. resellers strictly like, like people that's purpose. outside of the culture yes, or yes, like yes. they just like don't wear anything from that, that culture that show up to a line and, and they just go, sell everything grown man like shit. you see like people that don't wear yeezys at all like be signed up for the yeezy raffles yes, or yes. going through like picking up pairs yeah i understand what you're saying gotcha uh my outtake on it is everybody's buying shit that's like hyped and like like all like the must have of the season, like the new and the the newest shit out there, and celebrities are wearing it. The celebrities get it early, and then they start promoting it. They're influencing the other kids or like other people to you know like oh this is what you gotta have to be cool, like Supreme or some shit. 
And like all these fucking celebrities buying ten thousand dollar Supreme jackets oh, yeah. and shit. Like the, complex, the Scott like, dude, like oh people were like oh shit, Scott got the Supreme jacket, the Parker, whatever the fuck. Yeah, it but is. he's not somebody. He spent ten thousand dollars. He got the money to do it, but he's not somebody who's an avid. He's not collector. part of the culture. Who I knows? believe he's not. Like I love Scott Disick and I will watch him because he's funny. But like to get sneaker advice or like a sneaker video from him, I wouldn't like, take advice. What from was him. the point? Like there was a video of like. Um, Robin Leach sitting down with I don't know who we sat down with like it was Young Jeezy or someone and like actually like learning information of like high class like how you're supposed to hold your you your know cocktail floor. and in England in England they don't even have English muffins do you believe that I believe it they just call they don't muffins. even have them there they call them muffins yeah they call no, muffins they no they don't have English muffins like when you go to China no you there's, there's no such food, thing as no he's from England no there's no English muffins in England look it up English muff uh, English muffins is an American thing. <laughs> But, um, yeah, but like I was saying, like happens, all these people get influenced because of Instagram. Now we have social media. When you were growing up, collecting all of these I shoes, did it myself. you back didn't have to. Yeah, back in the day, like when Scotland was on like, and shit. Yeah, when I was. You like, didn't have to post it <laughs> to be about it. Like you just buy the shit. You wasn't looking for other people's like thumbs up or their no. likes for somebody's approval. You just buy the shit. I you didn't want. want you I didn't think want there's approval. people out there. There's a lot of collectors out there that don't have any kind of social media platform. Yeah, like they don't have no Instagram. They don't post up none of that shit online. And like they still collect and they buy what they like and that's it. Like I think but there's I think still I hope people it comes out back there. Back to that one day, like I'm, like it, I can't. To buy something hurt. offline, you have to have a bot. You cannot buy it without a bot anymore. Like it's not. Possible. Well, sometimes you might get lucky and get it manual. I know people that you know manually buy Listen, shit online on Supreme. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna track back to this this statement. I don't cons you consider yourself a collector. I don't consider myself a collector. What is what is a collector? I don't I mean, know if I we do have the same. I don't I don't wear, know if I put but... shit in my closet. I put shit in my closet. If I buy two or three, it's because I know I'm gonna wear, wear the shit yeah. out of one, yeah, and I want to and I wanna have another one to wear. Not yeah. that I'm putting it in my closet as a mantelpiece or a or structure, for later. piece of history, yeah. or to flip like I want it so I could fucking rock it because it looks good with that hoodie. I know it's coming yeah. out in six months. Okay. Like, like that's so my collectors just buy the shit to collect and collect dust. No, but are you are you collecting with the idea of? Like when you collect a toy or you collect a shoe that you're gonna put on a shelf and put in a glass box that you're never gonna wear. It's like getting a pair of Jeter ones as a as a Yankee fan. Yeah. You're like you're not gonna wear that shoe. You're gonna put it on your mantle. It's gonna sit and that's, there, that's what and you're gonna see with a signed too. baseball. You're gonna or have a, the a jersey side. or the shoe sign or whatever it is. That is collecting to me. There are okay. people in the industry that like to collect shoes and just wear the shit that they I like. I say wear your kicks. That's that's. What I mean, it's for. there's a lot like people like people who sell like fucking. If I find a pair of Asics from fucking 2011 that are DS sitting in a room, either. You are collecting the shoe, and you've realized that you're just done with it, and you don't want it anymore, or you were never really into the shoe to fucking begin with. Like, why the fuck is it sitting there? You get a dope fucking shoe, don't you want to wear it? Yeah. Well, I want the first thing I want to do. The fuck? Wear. That's when why I, got, I doubled up on Royal Blue. I mean, triple I up, and I started wearing shoes. the first pair. Yeah. Like, I wear that shit for everything. I wanted to cry. That, that, that's what I'm saying. Like, the collecting aspect, and as far as people going, like, well, I've been doing this for this long, and I've been doing this for that long. It, no, doesn't, that it doesn't make a difference. Like, doesn't matter. It, it, it honestly, like, if you like to collect shit, the only qualm that I have with people is if you're firstly just getting into new shit, learn about it. Don't just come yeah, in and yeah, flagrantly really. be like, oh, well, I seen this post on fake news or fucking Twitter. Like, oh, go do some reading. It doesn't take long. You read a fucking paragraph. Oh, yeah, that's something. Go cool. back. And like, you should you have can... respect for the OGs in the game because they can teach you a few things. That... Yeah, the OGs will teach you stuff. Like, it's, it's honestly, it's a respect thing. And more importantly, it's a community thing. So, like, fucking with people in your community. Because you guys have a common denominator, which is shoes. Whether you collect, whether you fucking... Eh, I'm not going to say resell. Or clothing, Whether too. you collect, whether you like to wear yeah, fresh right. shit or clothes or whatever it is. You have a fundamental basis to like have a rapport with someone just based off of that. And your knowledge of those things. So there's nothing wrong with being on a line and being like, Yo, what's up? Oh, those are fire. Where'd you get those? You got a store and you got this and you got Yo, that. Like Every shoe or every piece of clothing article has a story behind it. Whether it's the camp out. The camp out. Whether it's like okay. the release, how it went, like the the raffle, whatever, like every shoe you have in your closet, you probably got a story, and like it's just the nostalgia within like a pair of oh, ones that you had from back in the day, or a pair of threes. Anybody going to sneaker con this weekend? That's the thing I meant to bring up. A sneaker con? I don't know if I'm gonna go. What is sneaker con? That's a big. big can I, can, I, can, I, can I do my <laughs> Can I do my thoughts? I, I want to swing by. My theory with sneaker con is that it's become a very under evolved. Thing. Like I thought at some point it would evolve into something better, bigger, and greater. Like Complex Con I feel is the next move past sneaker con. Even though it's not all about sneakers, it's fashion, art, and sneakers or whatever else you want to yeah. have in there. Um, I felt like sneaker con was going to hit a different plateau. They started the trading pit because they pushed all the people out of the floor so you had a little less congestion. I thought maybe they'd step their boots up a little bit more. They would have a little bit more of a presence. Um, I feel as though walking in there, it smells. 
because it's just kids that are been they've been camped well, out. They want to come in. And, it, the lines aren't even that bad anymore. They come in, they're walking around with shoes in their trading pit, and nobody's really at the vendor tables because they all carry the same things. Like every table has the same shoes. So if every table has the same shoes and you're not bringing in new yeah. vendors, like what's really the lure to bring me in a basketball game with a bunch of YouTube people? Like, Whoever has the lowest I'm price. On that. Whoever has the lowest price in the shoe that you're looking for. Yeah, I, I guess the, the uh, sneaker card is on gym. Saturday, this oh, Saturday. The Yeezy's dropping this Saturday. So it's going to be an abundance amount of Yeezy's trying to get sold over there. Word. Everybody's selling, nobody's buying. That's one thing about sneaker card. It's all sellers, all resellers, That's very true. but nobody's really buying, dog. I mean, so, shout out to Crep City. Like, I'm not, not like I'm trying to like fucking uh, veer off the conversation, but going to Crep City, I felt like the vibe was different. Like, you had old school shit, you had new school shit, and like everybody. It was a different crowd too. You got the runners over there. Yeah, you have you have, you have a fair price point as well. They have basketball too. They have clothing as well, like shit yeah. that you want. It, it's just a better vibe and a better environment as opposed to being there and dealing with fucking nonsense. I, I feel like SneakerCon has just lost its value. Sneaker mm. shows as a whole here. I think sneaker shows as a whole is not becoming like the go-to thing because now people got different apps to sell Stop shit it. on. Why deal with all the, the hustle and bustle of going through these sneaker con events or any kind of sneaker shows and dealing with like people like trying to like negotiate or just dealing with like a lot of fucking like bullshit at the events and you can just put a shit online, yeah. sell it, or just sell through IG, Twitter, or any other kind of social media platform. I think Tom but, just mean to me because he thinks I was making fun of him last week. Oh, uh, you don't have to whisper. Speak up. I said, I think Tone just makes fun of me because he thinks I was making fun of him last week. Nah, we really talked about that. We here. <laughs> Tone my voice. Came out to my right. K Black 23. Just call me KB. Like, what, what do you call me in real life? Can I ask you a question, both of you? What do you guys call me? I call you Kristen. You call me KB. So you walked in and you said, what's up, KB? Yeah, you did. I did, right? I yeah. call you KB. KB is kind of like, you know, know. <laughs> my name's Kristen, KB. It's Kirsten or Kristen? How many years do I Sneaker battle? Know? No, no, I want to yes. say one more thing about that whole entitlement thing. I forgot to say, I just remembered right now. I feel like people that have, there's a lot of bougie ass people in the sneaker community and they think like, you know, they're better than somebody else because Word. they have like limited edition sneakers or they have the staple SB dunks from back in the days. I'm like, oh, it's directed at somebody specific. No, 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 I'm, I'm just saying the journey. I'm just, well, I'm just trying to remember. Specific shoe, no, no, I'm just trying to remember like, like any kind speak of. Speak on it. I am going to speak on it, but Who I'm saying it? like, there's nobody in general. It's somebody. Yeah. I'm talking about like people that got PEs uh, or like one of ones or like whatever. one of like ten he's or like whatever it is. Size only, so. He's talking, so. No, I'm not. Oh, okay, excuse me. I'm sorry. Sorry, mediator. Got gotcha. you. So I feel like just because you got limited edition shoes don't mean shit, my nigga. Like, <laughs> shoes don't make you better than anybody else. So if the only thing you could afford is like Converse or like regular Nikes and shit, do what you gotta do. Like, don't think that somebody that has limited edition sneakers or any kind of PEs is better than you. Just. Fuck all that shit, they're right? Like, they're, they're, they're shoes. They're, they're just shoes. shoes in a day. They don't make you a better person. At the person. end of the day, they are shoes. Yeah. That's it. Think about that. Not just the beard, but... I don't know. The beard. beard is a whole different topic. Exactly. Beards, beards make they're you they're just better. shoes. Okay. Hmm. It is just shoes. It's just the beard. You're right. It's just hair. So you're saying the, the shoes yeah, are cut, important. Control, it goes back. Yeah. Oh, you're saying the shoes yeah, are important. Yeah, because to, certain to other people, it might be important. That, that, that doesn't mean No, you. not that. I'm talking about like them making them better than somebody else that doesn't have the shoe. I think you missed the whole ha point. Having, having shoes doesn't make you better than anyone oh, else. Oh, never, like, never. Yeah, that, that's, that's what, what he's getting at. That's oh, what okay. I was saying. That like some people like walk around with a certain like swagger or feel a certain type of oh, way. They don't want to talk to certain people because you don't got, got off-white. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, that's extra corny. If you don't talk to fuck. somebody because of what the shoes say. Like real talk, like I, you could wear a pair of Vans and kill your whole outfit. Exactly. And somebody wearing some fucking dirty. You could wear ballet slippers and kill it. I'm more I'm more impressed by the idea of putting your outfit together. You know what I'm saying? Like, exactly. What or, you, whoa, shit, all right, or people showing up at camp outs with like limited edition shoes and thinking like, oh, they fly shit. Or like, like wearing Red October them. Yeezys too and coming to a, a lineup. That's just Like to show off and like impress other people on the line. It's the first time he's ever worn them and they're going right back in the house yeah. in the box. Like, dog, take that shit to a basketball game. And so yeah, let me go pick up my V2s and these Red Octobers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck out of here, cornball. Stick a battle. I'll go first? Yeah, of course. Uh, I thought you would go first because... You want to hear, you always win, so you get to go first. Yeah, yeah, winner goes first. That's the new rule. Winner goes first. Whoever wins the week before has to go first How the next week. How do you judge who wins? And be 1,500, surplus pack, one out of 1,902, or 1,906. Limited edition, it makes me better than that everybody. Makes it, exactly, I was just about to say. I just realized you're wearing a green shirt. Just, you might be green screen this whole time. Oh, fuck, well, I got uh, olive. Uh, 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 
I don't know. We'll see. I hope uh, he's on the green screen. That'd be post edit. I, don't know, I just realized he was wearing green. I was like, Fuck. Well, last week you didn't use the oh, green screen either. Oh, I didn't. I won, you won third place. Oh, no, you won last week. I didn't win last week. Hey, I never win. <laughs> These are red. Vote for me, New Balance, Made in UK. Here Wait. we are with um, Why did she get up? OG Samuto, and I can't this? reach. Why, are you going to show them Shout the out to the Trademark. Are you going to show them the shoe? Why, you got those for you? Are you going to tell them no. what shoe it is? He works for Asics. So why shout out to him? Because he's Get out of here. He's Next. Terrible. Little Hannon, Deodora. It's a special. Saturday special on a Thursday. We here. Chilling. Oh, ready. Chilling. We chilling? So, uh, shout out section has begun. Shout out to Milton the Flavors. Haven't tried them out in a while. Shout out to Vlad the Mayor. If you guys are listening to the beats and some of the videos, that is from Vlad. His uh, Instagram handle is in the uh, description to the video. Shout out to KB. Shout out to Tone of My Voice. We here. Uh, shout out to the group chats. Shout out to the new group chats. Shout, shout out to, to, uh, to just everybody. Shout out to Paolo. Happy holidays. Happy uh, Hanukkah. Whether you're celebrating Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. Birthday. What birthday? What, it's not a holiday. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's a holiday. It's a holiday for you. All right. Um, <laughs> no matter what you're celebrating this uh, holiday season, happy holidays. And uh, I think we're oh, we're getting ready for uh, top seventeen to seventeen. Oh, Woo! oh, is it just gonna be you and me? Or? Yeah, right. Please, yeah, definitely. In the okay. comments, we, me, what, me and just, whatever. I so go. We're, we're we're done here. Thumbs up, everybody. Hater Smash that like one. button. I'm going to get you a shirt that says hater number one and hater number two. Okay. Okay, give me one shirt that, says, shirt that says I'm with hater number two. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Chillin'! We're out of here.